In this demo video, we demonstrate a powerful event reconstruction tool for conflict monitoring in social media. Nowadays, people capture every aspect of their life with personal devices. During major incidents where a large number of people are present, the whole event is recorded from different perspectives, and these records are uploaded and spread out in different websites in social media. For example, after the Boston bombing in 2013, the FBI had to manually go through thousands of videos to figure out what exactly happened and to identify the bomber. It is also hard for human rights researchers to find out what happened during the Euromaidan protests, in which many civilian protesters were killed. Here to get a sense of what these data looked like, we searched Maidan protests on YouTube. As we can see, these videos are taken from different locations and different time of the event. Some of them are even irrelevant to the events. It is the same case as the Boston bombing video collection, which is very noisy and unorganized. To reconstruct events from large number of unorganized videos from social media, our system will automatically synchronize them and put them into a timeline, where these videos are played according to the time they are actually taken during the event. Our system also put these videos into a map, finding the GPS coordinates for each camera location, so that this video collection is not only temporarily, but also spatially organized. Researchers can then play through this video collection with our multi-perspective view interface to analyze the event, and even improve it by manually verifying the synchronization and localization results. Here we demonstrate this process. This is our system's web interface. The Maidan protest collection has been automatically processed. The videos are put into a map on the left and in a timeline. Users can also manually verify the synchronization and localization results. Here the videos are put into a global timeline. Users can verify the synchronization results of each video pair. Users can also verify localization results. Our system downloads street view images from Google and Flickr to match two videos. Users can confirm the matches. Here again we show the final synchronization and localization results of Boston Marathon bombing. After videos are organized, our system provides powerful tools for event information retrieval including gunshot detection, crowd detection, 3D reconstruction, and person tracking. First, we demonstrate gunshot and crowd detection. Our system ranks videos with the most gunshots from highest to lowest. It detects which segment within the videos contains gunshots. Users can also see a detailed gunshot analysis for each video with a gunshot probability graph and how many gunshots are fired.
už tretia vámka. For crowd detection, users can also see a person detection graph for each video and find the segments with a crowd above the number threshold. Here we present our system tool for 3D reconstruction and person tracking. Here it is a Google Street View of the Boston Marathon scene near the finish line. Our system reconstructs the scene in 3D using just Google Street View images. As you can see, the point cloud resembles the building of the street. Users can navigate in the 3D scene freely. By combining the 3D reconstruction models from the video and the Google Street View model, our system can put the video into the 3D scene and play at the position as the video was recorded. Users can also follow the video's perspective for better view of the scene. This is an illustration of multiple person tracking in videos. Multiple runners are tracked with bonding box and identified with different color and ID. By utilizing 2D person tracking and the 3D camera position, our system can display accurate tracking results in the 3D scene. Finally, combining with video synchronization results, our system can show multiple synchronized video real-time in the 3D space. Users can navigate between different video views for a complete understanding of the event.